Hey everyone, today I'm showing you how to take any image and make it a transparent PNG background for your videos. So you're just going to go to a website and grab a product. You can either press on the screen and save a photo to your camera roll, or you can take a screenshot. Either of them will work. And you'll notice when you do that, you have a whole bunch of white surrounding the image you want. So we're going to figure out how to take that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up an app that is called eraser and I'll put a link to it. If you don't, um, I'll put a link to it in the description so you can go download it from the iTunes store. And what you're going to do is bring in the photo that you have. And then I'm going to start with this target color because there's a lot of white. So I'm going to select white and it's going to take out a whole bunch of the white. Now you see the top and bottom, there's still some stuff. So now I'm going to click into the erase and I'm just going to take my, uh, target area and you can change the width or the offset or which is the distance from the dot that you are and I'm going to go ahead and make this kind of large I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to erase a whole bunch of that top where it's blue and along on the bottom as well and you're also going to notice that the logo for the product itself is actually grayed out as well so we don't want that so we're going to end up restoring that so it comes back and I'm going to show you how to do that in one second. So go in here, you can move the picture around, I'm just going to erase all of this stuff that wasn't white, that it didn't auto take out from that target color. And you'll see here I made a mistake, it's okay, we're going to fix it. You're going to go back to the restore and then we're going to start with um, some of that area that I messed up and along the bottom. So I'm going to bring it back. It's okay to go extra because then you're just going to um, go back into the erase feature and bring it back. I'm going to go back over the logo so you can see more of that come through. All right, now I'm going to reduce the width of that. I'm going to zoom in so I have a little bit more detail and I'm just going to go ahead and delete that white from back here. Of course, you can take your time. I'm just doing this really quickly to give you an idea of what this looks like. So mine is probably going to have more mistakes than yours would if you were being more careful than I am. As you get closer to the product itself, you can go ahead and reduce that width even more. I like to reduce the offset as well. So it's pretty much just exactly what I'm touching. It's exactly what I'm erasing. And let me just finish off this bottom here. I'm going to speed through this. All right, and just kind of move it around and make sure that it looks good to you. I'm going to clean up some of these edges really quick. That looks pretty good to me. You can always test the restore to see if there's any areas that you kind of missed. Bring them back. Just kind of keep going through this until you're happy with what you've got. All right, when you're done with this, you're just going to hit done. All right, and then you're going to hit that icon up in the upper right hand corner so you can save it. You can save it to your camera roll. You have to watch an ad because it's a free version, so otherwise you have to pay for it. So this is the free version. And then it's gonna ask you how you wanna save it. You wanna make sure you select PNG so you have a transparent background. Make sure you save it to your camera roll. I like to save it to my camera roll so it's ready to go for projects, video projects. And if you haven't caught my video on how to do overlays, make sure you check that out. I will link that. So you can see it in your camera roll. And then you think it still has a white background, you press on it, you'll see it's still transparent. And I think that's a really easy way to use overlays for your project. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.